what are some of the common obstacles that we have experienced, that you have experienced, that I experienced, um, just to kind of talk about those obstacles. And, and um, yeah, I'll give you the opportunity just to kick it off. But what are those obstacles that you find um, yourself and those who you talk to, some of our peers, are encountering when doing this balance? Yeah, so that's 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 a phenomenal one. So uh, there's one, I guess, two really that come to mind immediately. And the first is is balance. You know, and this is something I don't think I've talked to some really successful entrepreneurs, and it seems like this is something that the problem that will never go away. Because it's just <laughs> it's the tension to be managed. But um, you know, balancing when normally, you know, people are used to balancing their personal and work lives. But when you're talking about balancing your personal work and work lives it starts becoming a little trickier when you're talking about one work is like the job you must do to feed your family and one's the one you love that you know one day will feed your family but you're not quite there and then there's the, the actual like personal responsibilities yeah so balance is definitely I'd say that um, it's, it's definitely a key key thing that you know I've, I've had to struggle with you know and I think um, and the key way which I've really uh, in, in a sense conquered that is really by committing to consistency mm -hmm. so that's, I mean, that's, I'm a naturally like a schedule oriented person. Whenever things are on my, you know, in, in my control, then I, I do my best to be very schedule oriented. But I actually, I am, I made some pushes at work to make sure that my schedule could be consistent there too. Yeah. Um, so quick background, I don't know if I mentioned this, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but so right now, what my, you know, I, I'm still in my day job, which is that um, I work for Chick-fil-A. So it's a great organization. I'm a huge fan. Um, I really can't complain. Um, love my job. Yeah. But, you know, it's, um, so I, Chick-fil-A, you know, it's open from 6.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day, you know, as Which a manager. I'm very grateful for, by the way, because I hit it up at all hours of the day, as I'm sure you've got several customers who do. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and, and, you know, and people love Chick-fil-A, you know, that's, that's, there's no question about that. But, uh, so typically as a manager there, and, you know, I, I'm in a, um, in a training-oriented role there, mm -hmm. um, you know, your schedule's all over the place. You may work mornings one day, nights the next, you know, this, that, the other. Um, but I wanted to get really intentional about building time in for my platform, you know, and for what for building towards, you know, the entrepreneur dream that I see. And uh, so I, you know, I pushed a little bit on that and I, that I really need some consistency. And so I took over the role uh, back in January of night manager. And so I work almost exclusively nights after about 2 or 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So my mornings I get to spend working either with my family or working on my business. So that's been really that's been really the key way to conquer balance that I've Well seen. that's fantastic, man. And I think the first thing that you bring up that um, that I think is an obstacle what one thing that you bring up that I'm gonna list as an obstacle is getting this mentality in your mind that if you truly believe in your dream and you truly want to make it happen, like you have to make sacrifices and you've got to be willing to make those sacrifices on a consistent basis. And you even just saying like look in order to pursue pursue my dream and make that a reality, I had to make a sacrifice and work almost exclusively the night shift because that was going to bring me the consistency that I need. A lot of times, um, I'll be chatting with different people, you know, peers of mine, whether it's in a coaching role or if it's in a just shoot the breeze, enjoy life role, but it, it really boggles my mind how much we don't equate, you know, success pursuing our dream with personal sacrifice and making hard choices and one of the hardest choices and th this is another obstacle I guess we're leading into but one of the hardest choices that I have found that I've had to make in pursuing my dream um, and maximizing it when I was working full-time was clarity of what I was actually going at because you have very limited amounts of time between all of the balancing acts that you have to maintain and if you don't have clarity on what it is you're actually pursuing and trying to do then you're not maximizing what little time you are able to invest and you're not able to get ahead and that means just putting off the reality of you know generating income from your dream and taking your business or taking your platform to that next level and so one thing that's been really really helpful for me is honestly being willing to give up the pipe dream of being all things to all people and becoming mm. more and more clear about who I am equipped to help the most and what ways I'm going to uh, what ways I'm going to help them so really two things right there that I have found to be obstacles is one um, being willing to make personal sacrifice um, and uh, and two um, being very very clear on you know what it is I'm going to do with that little bit of time that I have and and I guess let, let me just go back for a second the sacrifice for for me wasn't 
actually exclusively for me. It was a lot for my wife. So when, when oh, we yeah. first started, when I was um, when I was doing side hustle, and I was working freelance, and I was taking on you know websites, and I was blogging and all this stuff. My wife had to be on board, and and I know we've got people watching who are single, and that doesn't necessarily ring true as far as a spouse goes. But your relationships, your friendships, your time with your parents, or your time with you know um, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or your time with um, you know a best friend. Those things have to be put into a balance, like you're talking about, John, in order to um, in order to maintain those relationships. Because I know for me, if I hadn't talked with my wife and said, "Look, I need Tuesdays and Thursday nights from 6:30 to 9 p.m. to go to McDonald's or Starbucks or wherever and just invest time in writing," because for me, one of the big things that I did in 2014 was I wanted to find my voice. My sacrifice was I wasn't going to try to make any money. I was going to try to find my voice and identify my writing style. So mm -hmm. is that something that you can relate with, the um, oh, yeah. relationships and making sure they're on board and realizing that you're not the only one making sacrifices? Definitely. You know, and when I first started blogging, you know, I was single, but that was really, this was really long, well, long before I ever took it seriously. I mean, I blogged for years, but it was kind of all like, I had a bunch of different blogs focused on, you know, this, you know, about economics or about politics or theology, you know. Um, and none of them really took off. And but when I really started focusing in on what's now John me, my mom, um, you know, my platform that's grown um, to really you know stand on its own, um, that was about the same time that I actually that I got married. It was I, I'd spent a few months working on it before I got married. And so that was definitely something my wife and I've had to wrestle with. The key yeah. thing that's really helped us is um, she needs to know and really have the security to know that I'm I'm putting boundaries around uh, my work time to make sure that I'm leaving time for her. So, um, you know, we've kind of done what you're talking about except for the reverse in that, you know, we we were very intentional, um, especially in that first year to schedule um, every Thursday night, no exceptions, was a date night, you know. And there were other nights that we'd spend we'd spend together. We'd say, you know, have a movie night on, on uh, Saturday night, you know, this kind of stuff. But, um, I mean, you know, working at the time when we, our first year of marriage, um, I was working for a nonprofit. I'd work all, I'd work, you know, eight to four every day, and then take a break, have dinner with her, and then go back to work and work on my platform. Mm -hmm. um, so it was really important to build those boundaries, um, to really build those boundaries around our family time. So yeah, what you're exactly what you're talking about, you know, building that in. And uh, now we've got a little one on the way, so which was pretty That's exciting. Awesome, yeah. man! Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So August, uh, mini niece will be here. Um, <laughs> I love yeah. that. That's great. Yeah, so we're 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 thrilled, but at the same time, um, my wife's been really gracious in that she's really allowed me to step up my hustle now, because you know we talked about it, and I know that I'm gonna need to sacrifice. A, or, well, not sacrifice. I'm gonna need to really just give a lot more of my time to my family yeah. once we have a newborn to help her out and to spend time with our child. And so right now we're both making sacrifice where she's picked up a lot more stuff around the house, and she's really sacrificing a lot of time with me to so that I can focus on my business. So that come August, I'm we're set up for success. So that's kind of yeah. So it's you know that's been really, you know that's definitely been a balance that um, I think I think that that tension, not managing that tension, won't ever go away. But that's that's uh, that's been key.